Brexit negotiators from the UK have been given until October 31 to agree to a full legal text on the future trade relationship with the European Union. Brexit talks have been at a standstill for months and European Union Chief Negotiator Mitchell Barney once again said there had been no progress following the fourth round of negotiations this week. German MEP David McAllister, who leads the European Parliament's UK Coordination Group, warned Londoners until October 31 to agree to a full legal text if they want a deal to be in place by the end of the transition period in December. Speaking to the BBC Today programme, Mr McAllister said, We have considerable differences on fair competition the so-called level playing field fisheries, police and judicial cooperation and governance issues. What we now need to concentrate on is how can we move forward given the UK continued refusal to extend the transition period. This means we need a full legal text by October 31 at the latest. Mr McAllister insisted an upcoming meeting between Boris Johnson and the Commission and Council Presidents, Ursula von der Leyen and Charles Mitchell, is crucial to the future agreement between the UK and the EU. He continued, that's why this high-level conference in June is so important. At this high-level conference, both parties will have to assess the progress that has been made so far but certainly agree together on how to proceed in the next upcoming weeks and months. That's very crucial. Mitchell Bonnier on Friday accused the UK of backtracking from the commitments Boris Johnson signed the UK up to in the political declaration in December. In a sign of apparent frustration from the Frenchman, Mr Bonnier urged the British team to read the declaration as a reminder of their obligations. But a defiant David Frost, Britain's top negotiator, insisted the British government is eager to reach a good deal as underscored in the declaration. Mr Frost said, we have just completed our fourth full negotiating round with the EU, again by video conference. It was a little shorter than usual and more restricted in scope. We continue to discuss the full range of issues, including the most difficult ones. Progress remains limited but our talks have been positive in tone. Negotiations will continue and we remain committed to a successful outcome. He continued. We are now at an important moment for these talks. We are close to reaching the limits of what we can achieve through the format of remote formal rounds. If we are to make progress, it is clear that we must intensify and accelerate our work. We are discussing with the Commission how this can best be done. We need to conclude this negotiation in good time to enable people and businesses to have certainty about the trading terms that will follow the end of the transition period at the end of this year and, if necessary, to all a ratification of any agreements reached. For our part, we are willing to work hard to see whether at least the outline of a balanced agreement covering all issues can be reached soon. Mr Frost added, any such deal must, of course, accommodate the reality of the UK well-established position on the so-called level playing field, on fisheries, and the other difficult issues. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel to receive the lastest news.